How do you play this thing? Find out today in this week's video. Hey guys, so of course as a musician, as a singer, as a guitar player, I get asked this a lot. Can you teach me how to play the guitar? And the answer, uh, the short answer that I typically give is no, I can't because I don't really know what I'm doing either. Um, I don't know the names for a lot of the stuff for chords and notes that I play. Um, I, I'm fortunately one of those people who's able to just kind of feel it out until I'm able to make a pretty noise with this thing or with any instrument that I play. I first started playing guitar when I was 10 years old. Uh, it's something that I just suddenly felt like I really wanted to learn how to do, and my now brother-in-law gave me my first guitar and showed me my first couple uh, exercises and things like that. Uh, but the main thing that I did was really just kind of learned on my own uh, how to do this thing, and I'll, and I'll be direct with you. The first thing I messed around with was kind of this James Bond theme, and it sounded terrible, but it was just sliding my index finger on these three notes because it sounded... Uh, it sounded familiar to me, and you'll find yourself doing that all the time when you're playing any instrument, piano, guitar, whatever it is. You want to, you'll, your mind will drift into playing something familiar, and for me, that was, for whatever reason, uh, this tune right here. So I knew some of that sounded good, and I knew maybe one of those notes in there didn't sound so great. And as time went by, I learned a couple chords, and one of those chords was the D major chord. A uh, very pretty uh, major chord, um, and from there, I started using that chord instead. Uh, now that I learned how to do that, I practiced sliding that chord, so I would do, again, the James Bond theme, but just by going... So I would do that all day long in my room, and I remember I think one of my aunts came to visit one time, and Dad said, hey, show her what you've been learning, and I sat on the bed and did that for her, and I'm sure she thought it was great. That was my first kind of go at playing the guitar, and as time went by, um, the next evolution for me in guitar playing, and this is, if I could teach someone how to play the guitar, this is what I would suggest they do. Take your left pinky and your ring finger and put them... On the third fret, your pinky goes on the highest string of that third fret. Your ring finger goes on the string just above it, and that's your anchor. Um, it just kind of gives you a ground, something really hard to push your fingers into. Um, you'll find that my thumb comes up over the bridge quite a bit. That's really a bad habit, but it's too late for me. Sorry, save yourself. Um, and then the G major chord, I've got my middle finger also on the third fret. So I've got three fingers on the third fret here. And this index finger is going to go on the second fret of uh, the next to lowest string, and you've got yourself a G major. Also a very pretty chord. And I learned pretty quickly that you can walk this chord down. And now you've got yourself an E minor. And you can do the exact same formation, just a couple strings down. So this looks like a G, but it's actually a few strings up. Again, I'm sure none of this makes any sense, and I apologize. That's why I wouldn't make a great teacher. Uh, now you've got a C major, and you walk it down. And you've got a, an A major of sorts. And the whole time, you've never moved your pinky or your ring finger. And uh, already, you've got six chords. From there, you can uh, kind of mess around with a couple things. Something like that. Um, if you throw in that D major, I'm pretty sure you can get uh, Jason Mraz's I'm Yours, which was super popular around the time I was learning guitar.
So again, I'm keeping my pinky finger and my ring finger where they go in their anchor points. But in the song, I'm yours by Jason Mraz, they, they slide up and then they come back home. And then you've got your G, they slide up, come back home, and you do your D. They slide up, come back home, you do an E minor, and then do it again and do your C major. And there you go, you're, now you're Jason Mraz. From there, really, it's, to be completely honest, it was just putting my fingers in places. It, it was... I would take normal chords, let's say, for example, a power chord. That's what uh, all the electric guitar rockers learned first is just these. Right, if you're doing punk rock or heavy metal or whatever it is, just heavy distortion and doing stuff like keeping that formation and just moving it everywhere. And you're rocking, you're rocking and rolling. Uh, taking chords like that, and playing uh, major versions of them. So here's a major, uh, here's an A major. Okay. And then what if I, you know, I would think, what if I didn't hold my index finger down throughout that chord and lifted it all up? Well, then it would sound like this. That's really pretty. And what if I moved it around? That sounds really pretty. So great. Now I've got in my head a new set of chords um, and I would just move them around in different spots until they found good, memorized where those spots were, and then made a song out of it. Um, and then from there it was, um, you know, kind of learning a uh, jazzier versions of those power chords. So when I learned that um, in a lot of the songs I write today, you'll hear chords like that all the time now. Um, same thing with these kind of really big, chunky, heavy, open jazz chords I like to do all the time now. Um, I really <laughs> use those quite a bit as well in my covers and in my originals. Um, for the most part, that's how I play. The only other things I would add is when I'm picking a guitar... Um, I use these three fingers and this thumb as best as I can. Um, and then sometimes I'll just kind of use these three fingers to kind of uh, strike the strings really quick. Um, or maybe I will, for the most part, I never use a guitar pick, hardly ever. I'll just use my index finger, kind of brace it with my thumb and the... You know, that's enough for me. Um, the nails on my right hand are usually a little bit longer than the nails on my left hand for that purpose so that things don't get caught up in my strings over here. But uh, then these things kind of make for guitar picks uh, when I'm playing the guitar. Um, again, I, I'm not a good guitar teacher. I don't know what I'm doing, so I can't really impart that knowledge onto other people. I think this video is proof of that. Uh, but now you know how I play the guitar. Yeah, and now you know that I'm a fraud and that I basically uh, am not a guitar player. Um, and so that's it for this week. Sorry for the letdown, but please enjoy the song and I'll see you next week. I'm so pretty. I'm so witty. Man, ain't I so funny? Don't you know that I'm kidding? I'm unique. Ain't nobody else out there like me. So quit looking. See the people looking at me and they must be thinking that boy is crazy he's just stuck inside his dreams well maybe they get to know me and they see the things i like to do they get to know me and they get a different point of view i finally met a place in a world that's all Around and around and around 
Stop the feeling. 